Right, big man, thanks very much for, for joining us. Pleasure. You're looking well. Good to be here. Like the band that slicked. <laughs> ready for summer, aren't you? <laughs> Never mind this relegation battle, mate. You're ready for summer, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> right, mate, we'll just start off where it um, <coughs> all began. Obviously, I took you under my wing. Celtic youth ranks. Um, good days, weren't they, back then? Ah, it was good. Uh, we had a good bunch of lads coming through. Obviously, uh, yourself, there was me, there was uh, your mate Jim. Jimbo, huh? And Conroy, uh, Rocco and that. So I had a, had a good bunch of boys coming through, uh, more on about the same age, so it was a good, it was a good, good times. Loads of, like, daft, weren't they? We're all daft, like, characters, you know what I mean? I, I look at youth teams now and I think that's what I was going to say to you. They're dead, uh, really quiet now, they're like robots, man, Mister. Uh -huh. All short back and sides, Sudoku in hand, do you know what I mean? <laughs> isn't it? It's, it seems like they didn't have a laugh anymore. Anyway, Seven at the tap, I want it aside. <laughs> um, I was a lot, it's, it's, it's different. We how do um, you think that is? I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's academy stuff and all that now, or they're just, um, I remember it said just at the end there when I was leaving Celtic, a lot of the boys were coming in every day and they were shaking, the, every, everybody had to shake hands and it was dead serious, there's nothing wrong with that but uh -huh. it just seemed as if it was really serious, do you know what I mean, uh, I don't think there was anything wrong with the way we, we used to have a laugh and, and uh -huh. uh, builds character done it because at the time it's a lot of hard times you're going through and you're no, you're no, uh, you're no involved with the first team and you're no, and it's, it's a time where you can have a laugh in it, uh, so uh -huh. I think I with a good team and a good Jank, team. With the, the first team players were there at the time as well, that, you, need to, you had to have been a aye. character, didn't you? Cause it was hard with like, Sutton and Lennon aye, and all that, aye, aye, they were characters and that, that brings it out in you as well, do you know what I mean? That You're looking at them as examples, so you think that's, that's, that's what it's about, so uh -huh. that helps. One of the best stories I remember from when we were younger was when we all known then you came back and played in a couple of testimonials. Is it Keenan? That's right, I had I'd been on Lone United and uh, I'd done done all right and Tommy phoned me up and says uh, we've got some the season had finished so uh -huh. uh, they said that we've got Roy Keynes and Shearer's testimony next week, the manager wants you to be involved in some kind of way, so it was absolutely buzzing and uh, so it came at a time we went down and played in them and that and for, for all the gifts well, we'll talk about the gifts you get in that. Uh -huh. Uh, there was a rumour going about for Shearer's, there was a Mini Cooper you were getting. I think Tom will start at that rumour, uh -huh. Thompson, if they, all the young boys are like, oh, no way and all that. Uh -huh. So in the end it was a, a plasma telly, we got 32 inch buzzing. Uh -huh. And for Keynes it was a, a watch, a mega watch. So anyway we got we got the gifts, but it came with that pre-season then he said, oh you're going to come away with the first team, just uh -huh. to see how you're doing that. So I'd come on and they get the testimonials and that buzzing, got the gifts, buzzing, telly and all that. And uh, went away. So pre-season with the watch on. So pre-season with the watch on. Try to take the telly in my bag to travel with. <laughs> and all that. Uh, um, so we go away and uh, doing for breakfast at pre-season, and oh, everybody's sitting. You know, you're young, you're almost like a young boy, and that you're like you don't say it in the front Spoken of the first the team, and you're, you're just quiet and that. So sat down. Tommy shouted for a distance. Charlie, Charlie. I was like, oh, there was Tommy Burns. Uh, Tommy's like. Uh, We've got, uh, you get that, that telly and the watch and that. I says, hi Tommy, I go to buzzing and that. <laughs> he said, uh, we've got Zidane's testimonial next week. And I'm like, oh, all right. You know, just listen to it. And he said, uh -huh. he went, the gift's a three piece sweet. Everybody on his Oh, yeah. I'm doing tears, mate. I was howling. <laughs> the whole yeah. staff table were loving uh -huh. it. It was just so funny, man. Tommy's part was amazing. When you, when you left, say, like, were, you, were you devastated when you left the first thing? No, not really. I've been asked that before. I, honestly, I wasn't at the time. I'd been in London to Dundee United. Uh -huh. I'd come back and I wanted to play games. In, in my mind, maybe I was too eager, but I, I just thought, I want to play games here. I, want, I, I think I should be playing games. Maybe I should just I say, listen, you're 20, just relax. But, uh -huh. but I thought I want to play games and I, want to, I don't want to just be, oh, I play for Celtic, or, uh -huh. even though I'm not getting in squads, I'm not doing nothing I wanted to play. So Just the Gucci wash bag I play for Celtic. Uh -huh. Aye. Can <laughs> <laughs> you had one, didn't you? No. Mine just got a Pierre Cardin. <laughs> <laughs> so, Wills, did you enjoy it down south for the first time you were done? It's a bit wet behind the ears, man. Oh, I, yeah, didn't, uh, yeah. I didn't know what was coming. I was uh -huh. homesick a lot. I was uh, in right away my first game, I got injured, so I done my ankle, so I've um, been doing it. Is it Big McCarthy, huh? Aye. Uh -huh. uh, Same nose, and that is. <laughs> <laughs> He was brilliant to be fair. Was he good at like, I don't know if he particularly liked me, but uh -huh. as a 
as a guy, same as Strachan again, character building, wanted the best out of you every day. Mm-hmm. And I still like to carry that on to you know, the, 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 the intensity and the, the every day in training, he had you working. And mm-hmm. I, learned, I learned a lot from him, even though I didn't play a lot. So, um, But I was, as I say, I was young and I was mm-hmm. wet behind the ears. You go for Celtic youth team. Thinking you're uh, thinking you've cracked it. You're walking mm-hmm. in there. People asking for pictures. You're walking in the park. People asking for pictures, and, and then you've really done yeah. nothing. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? You've not even played a game. Nothing. And then you go down there and you think, and it's just a whole other world down here. It's mm-hmm. massive. So I was a bit young at the time, but I would never, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change, change it. it huh? So you're saying you were obviously when you went down, you were wet behind the ears. Um, I think your time at Dundee United sums that up, doesn't it? I actually, when I was there. Um, the boys used to call us like they were saying I was a big baby and I used to drive but nodding after the wheel and that. We used to do double sessions under Brewster so you would train in the morning. Then again in, again in the afternoon you want to get back down the road to five o'clock. I was always nodding after the wheel, I fallen asleep in the back. There was all experienced pros. It was Dale McInnes, Jim McIntyre, Mark Kerr and uh, who else was there? There was Dodge as well. Uh-huh. Billy Dodge and that. So it was, it was like Alan Archibald. There was a few. It was a good, good, good school, experienced uh-huh. boys, good, good car school. So. But I was the youngest, so they were always like winding us up. I wasn't, I wasn't used to like travelling it. As I say, everything was easy at Celtic. So uh-huh. we're coming down one night, and I'm nodding half in the back, back of the motor, and it's about half four or something. We're pulling it in a little shed, just as we're pulling after a little shed. Uh, I've like checked my keys and they're off asleep. I've said, like, oh no, boys. And that was it. I said, I left my keys up there. So they're all howling, laughing, uh-huh. you know, like, no way, and that sums you up, Matt. You're like, fuck, big baby, uh-huh. that, right? So I'm like, so I've pulled in, and uh, I'm like, oh, the lot were no getting back, so I was like, that's all right, don't worry about it, I'll get a taxi or whatever. So I've pulled in, I've pulled in, and I've looked down at my motor, and I can see, like, smoke coming out the exhaust. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hold on a minute, boys, I've got the motor, like, there's smoke coming out of my exhaust, so I've like, walked out of the motor. Motor's still running in it, it's been running since half eight in the morning, <laughs> it's been running for <laughs> eight hours or whatever. And come on old. Aye, come on old, they are. And this point, they were already, they just got their laugh back for thinking that I'd left my keys. Time you seen the motor was running, man, they were howling. Nah, just jumped in the motor and drove away, half a tank of petrol later. 